Hello, I'm Lawrence Fishburne. A pioneer is defined as a trailblazer, someone who develops a new way of doing things. Nowhere is this truer than in the field of healthcare. Every medical advancement starts with a pioneer who explores and digs deep in the name of science. Here's one such story. If you've been living with back pain, you're not alone. Next to the common cold, it is the second most common reason patients visit their doctor. In fact, Americans spend over $50 billion each year on back pain, the leading cause of disability in Americans under the age of 45, and the third cause of disability in those older than 45. Very often, spine surgery is a patient's last resort. But experts warn not all procedures or doctors are the same. To avoid a failed surgery, it's very important to seek experienced, skilled surgeons, specifically trained, to address the complicated issues a patient may face. A failed surgery is anything that fails to correct the presenting problem. So if a patient comes to me with back pain, and after my intervention, if they continue to have back pain, then that's probably a failed surgery. In America, we have about a 50% failure rate in eradicating back pain, and when that's the primary presenting problem, we have an issue. So people are afraid of spine surgery. I think the key to going through a spine surgery as a patient is to do your research. You don't have to be afraid. There are amazing surgeons out there who have adequate training from amazing programs. And the key to that is to look for a fellowship trained surgeon and to look for someone with amazing testimonials. The truth comes from patients. So you don't wanna to go to a surgeon who does minimally invasive surgery on everyone or does one level of fusions on everyone. Because if you have a four level problem, you need a four level solution. So the key is making sure that your surgeon tailors your surgery to your problem. A fellowship trained spine surgeon delivering premier care at a level of success rarely seen in the world of spinal pathology, Dr. Sear is the chief medical officer of Surgical Associates and Spine. SA Spine is one of the nation's most elite spine practices with offices located in San Antonio and Houston. Dr. Sear has a sterling reputation for fixing the most complicated, failed spine surgeries imaginable. SA Spine is a full spectrum spine practice. At our practice, what we focus on is everything related to treatment of the spine, conservative treatment and operative treatment. When you come to SA Spine, we have physical therapists, we have neurologists, we have pain management specialists, and we have mid-level providers who evaluate patients very carefully to identify their individual problems and to treat them conservatively in an effort to avoid surgery. The difference, however, is that when surgery is necessary, then we're there to provide that care. I initially performed my orthopedic residency training in the Air Force. I was active duty for 14 years. I then entered my fellowship at the Mayo Clinic. I was selected as the only fellow in the country for the spine surgery program, so that when I left my fellowship and entered the Air Force, I was the chief of spine surgery for the entire Air Force, a professor of orthopedic surgery, consultant to the Pentagon, and consultant to the Surgeon General of the Air Force. And after all of that experience, seeing level one trauma, complicated surgeries, failed surgeries, tumors, anything you could imagine from the base of the skull all the way down to the tailbone, it was thrown my way. As a civilian, I've handled some of the most complicated surgeries as well from the community. And there are a lot of people that come that have this bias against spine surgery. They're afraid that there's no hope for them to get their life back. With my training, I really believe that there's an opportunity to make people better. I was always telling my family how much in pain I was in, but the medication I was taking didn't seem to be helping me. And it seems that the more medication I took, the worse I got. It was something so horrible because I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything by myself. I couldn't even eat because I would fall asleep and my face would end up on my plate. I did not have a mom for over 15 years. I got married. She doesn't remember anything from my wedding. She had no quality of life. Couldn't even have a conversation with her. Seeing her the way she was broke us. I don't remember a lot of my past. I felt like it would, I've been robbed of living. Every time I would have a surgery, it would end up being a failed surgery. And I would hear this from experienced doctors who had been in the business for maybe 20, 30 years. And then I would go back to their offices and then they would tell me that there was nothing they could do for me. What ended up happening was her back collapsed and the, the screws started to penetrate through her skin. We went back to the doctor to try to see him, to see if he could correct it. You know, um, he said there was really nothing more he could do for us. It turned out to be like a 
bad nightmare that I was living on a daily basis, having that pain of having screws coming out of your back and every turn that you took, I mean, it was hurting you. Mom was deteriorating, getting worse. Um, her organs were starting to get collapsed from being hunched over in a position so long. They were telling us that um, it's gonna be a matter of time that she's, she's not gonna make it. We started hearing Dr. Sears' name and his success rate. It's just been a miracle in all the years. My mom has seen a lot of doctors. We've never met a doctor like Dr. Sear. Thank God we found Dr. Sear. We're forever eternally grateful for him. He is such a wonderful doctor. He prayed with us. He guided us. He let my children know what I was going to be going through in the operating room. He's just a spectacular doctor. And I want people to know that if you're in my shoes or have been in my shoes, there are surgeons out there who are willing to do that for you. Without people like Dr. Sear, we wouldn't have our mom. From the front desk people to himself, they're all great and they've, they've just really given us not only my mom's life back, but our lives back. We went from a little over a year ago from them telling us to say goodbye to my mom to the walking miracle she is now. Now, I can honestly say I'm happy. I love life again. I feel very, very good about my health and I love my grandchildren. They keep me going. The whole reason that I'm a spine surgeon is visible in this patient. Her ability to stand and walk and sleep in a bed. Her adult children told me recently over the holidays that they hadn't had their mom cook for them in years and years. And I got a message, a really sweet message, telling me that she was now preparing their meals again and they were all excited about her holiday cooking. In general, I think medicine is a calling and the key of everything that we do and our goal is to get you back to life. And whether that means we're gonna provide a conservative answer or a surgical solution, we will do the very best we can for every patient we see and we'll treat them like they're our family. As modern medicine and healthcare continue to improve, those improvements will be highlighted here. See you next time. I'm Lawrence Fishburne.